Hello everybody and welcome to our channel. I'm Hayden. I'm Aaron. And we're, we're the, the Vegan, Vegan Voyagers. Voyagers. We sold everything we owned to travel the world full time and we just spent a month in the largest city in North America, Mexico City. And we want to share with you our top things to do there. Our absolute favorite thing to do in Mexico City was to take the party boats of Xochimilco. If you go on a weekend, you'll find hordes of locals having an all around blast while enjoying the scenery of what is dubbed the Venice of Mexico. Definitely pay for a mariachi band to board your boat and serenade you with the official music of Mexico. We got the mariachis on board! Watch this vlog to watch our entire experience on the trajineras in the floating gardens of Xochimilco. What's not to love about the way over the top sport of Mexican wrestling known as Lucha Libre? Donning masks and elaborate costumes, people cheer for their favorite luchadors, all while chugging massively giant beers. Even if wrestling is not your thing. It wasn't my thing. You're still gonna have a blast watching this. Before you know it, you're gonna be rooting and yelling in Spanish right along with the rest of the crowd. Mexico City has over 150 museums. That's more than any other city in the entire world. Our favorite was the Frida Kahlo Museum. Casa Azul, where Frida Kahlo was born, then later in life lived with her husband Diego Rivera, a very famous Mexican artist, and then eventually died in the same house. Make a reservation in advance in order to skip the long lines because it's a very popular attraction. The vegan food scene in Mexico City is the best that we found in the entire world. And every time we sat down to eat something, we literally were saying, oh my God, this is the best insert food item here we've ever had. We put together a full vegan food tour of Mexico City, which you can check out in this video right here. We like to use the A Billion Veg app, which helps us locate all of the vegan options in our area, and we'll put a link to that in the description down below. The Palacio de Bellas Artes building is absolutely stunning, and it's worth it to spend the money to go see the Ballet Folklorico. Even if you don't think that ballet is something that you'd be into, I didn't think I was going to be into it. It will quickly become one of your favorite things to do in the city. You'll enjoy the history of Mexico through traditional song and dance, and enjoy an absolutely amazing afternoon at the theater. Definitely splurge on the good seats because they're worth it. The best day trip from Mexico City hands down has to be the ancient pyramids of Teotihuacan. This ancient city is shrouded in mystery and no one's even really sure who actually built it. There you have the Pyramid of the Sun, which is the tallest pyramid in the world that you can actually climb. And you should. Just make sure you get there before the crowds. Watch this video to see our full day exploring Teotihuacan, where we even picked up an EVP, or an electronic voice phenomenon. We caught a ghost whispering to us. Woo! Inside the pyramids here, they've found mica, which comes from Brazil over 3,000 miles away. And it's an energy conductor, but it, it makes it so it doesn't get really hot inside. The Bosque de Chapultepec is a huge park right in the heart of the city. And it's even double the size of Central Park in New York City. In fact, we saw a lot of green spaces in Mexico City overall. Inside the Bosque, you can rent a little paddle boat to tool around one of the lakes inside of the park. And they even come in swan shapes. Sea snake! But what you must do is visit the Castillo de Chapultepec. So everything is in Spanish. So in our broken Spanish, we're learning that basically the Spain came and massacred all of the indigenous people and so a lot of these are like original um, paintings from the Spanish or original artifacts from the Mayans and from the Aztec people. Um, that's just about all we've gathered so far. Really old paintings. The castle has served many different uses throughout history but today it houses the National Museum of History. There you'll find lots of interesting artifacts spanning the entire history of Mexico. 
watch our full video where we explored the Castillo de Chapultepec and our next must visit destination, the Zocalo. The Zocalo is a massive square right in the heart of Mexico City. is the Palacio Nacional, which is the big government building. Sometimes the president goes there to speak to his people. It also houses the Cathedral Metropolitana, which has a fascinating history. We're not religious people, but a stroll through this gorgeous cathedral is not to be missed. It took over 250 years to build and it's actually sinking. In fact, the majority of the entire city is sinking. The cathedral was built on top of the ancient Aztec capital, Tenochtitlan, which you can see right there in the Zocalo at Templo Mayor. You can't go to Mexico City without trying tequila and mezcal. Both of these traditional liquors are made from the agave plant and are prevalent throughout Mexico City and super delicious. One of our favorite bars in the city is this old speakeasy called Hanky Panky. We're not going to tell you how to find it because that's actually half the fun. But once you're inside, you're going to be treated to world-class mixologists and some of the most amazing cocktails you've ever had in your life. We hope you enjoyed our must-do list while visiting Mexico City. Leave a comment down below if we missed your favorite thing in the city. Please hit the like and the subscribe buttons because they really help our channel grow and it allows us to continue to bring you content just like this. Thanks, Thanks so, so much, much for watching. watching. See you next time. See ya.